Hello everyone and welcome back to Advanced Microeconomics. This is Dr. Mukamil Shah, an Assistant Professor of Economics at Institute of Management Sciences, Peshawar, Pakistan. Due to my too much busy schedule, I was unable to uh, create uh, more lecture videos on Advanced Microeconomics. Now the fall semester of 2023 has started and I think uh, I have sufficient time to create more lecture videos on advanced microeconomics. As you know, I am uh, decoding the tough language of advanced microeconomic analysis by uh, Hal R. Varian, and I have already covered around uh, four or five chapters of this book. Uh, now I am starting from uh, consumer theory, and I am starting from chapter seven, that is the utility maximization. I hope I will cover. Uh, the entire consumer theory in this semester. So wish me best of luck and let's start utility maximization. So we are starting from the consumption set. So let's start it. Okay, so we are starting from the consumer preferences and for the consumer preferences it is uh, mandatory to understand the consumption set first, right? So the consumption, what is the consumption set? The consumption uh, set shows uh, all possible consumption bundles. For example, if the consumer want to purchase two commodities, something like ghee and meat. So different bundles are possible for ghee and meat. For example, X1, X2 and X3. These are three different bundles. The bundles can be more than three, four, five, so many bundles are possible. So these are the different possible bundles and these uh, possible bundles belong to some consumption set and the consumption set is noted by X. All right. The next thing which is important regarding the consumption uh, set is the consumption set is the non-negative earthened in the uh, k-dimensional real space. So it means that when you are talking about the consumption uh, bundle, the consumption can either be zero or it can be some positive amount of a particular commodity. The consumption cannot be negative. That's why the uh, consumption set X is non-negative earthened. Earth, what is earthened? Other the uh, K dimension uh, space in the these two positive dimensions. So this is zero, this is positive amount of X and this is the positive area of Y, right? So all the uh, consumption bundles will be reported in this very area and it would form an earthant. And now we should use some more specific consumer bundle. The reason is you should carry out an assessment for the consumer uh, preferences in case of uh, some normal situation and for normal situation you are supposed to uh, choose those bundle which at least give the consumer the subsistence level okay so you can go beyond the subsistence level but this is the minimum limit uh, for the choice of the consumer bundles we will also assume that the consumption set is closed and convex by close we mean that all the consumer bundles at the boundary of the consumption set they will be included in the analysis right moreover the linear combination of the two consumer bundle is possible when we are talking about the linear combination it means that somehow we are we can substitute one consumer bundle for another so this is this is convex this is assumed to be convex for the assessment of the consumer behavior it is mandatory to use some specific notations for example if there are two bundles in the consumption set one is x and the other is y so this notation means that x is x bundle is at least as preferable as bundle y however if you remove this equality sign then x bundle will strictly be preferred to bundle y okay 
we we need ranking ranking up different uh cons- consumption bundles so as to make a distinction between the less prepared and the more prepared bundles so what we would do is we have to set an environment for for the uh ranking up bundles so we have to take uh, certain assumptions and these certain assumptions can be completeness etc which will be discussed in the next video thank you thanks for watching